Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Welcome to St. John's Episcopal Church. If you've ever attended a Village Square event, um, this is a familiar place to you. We'd like to thank St. John's for hosting us here today and also for what they do to um, keep this community engaged in partnership with organizations like ours. My name is Liz Joyner. I'm the executive director of the Village Square. For those of you who may not know, the Village Square works to create community between people who have different points of view. Um, that probably sounds fairly difficult in the environment that we're in right now, uh, but one of the things that we've found is that it's easier than it seems when we just take a moment and connect with our neighbors. We have more in common than we understand. We're here this morning to announce an upcoming community event which for the last two years has brought residents together for casual but meaningful dinner conversation focused on breaking down barriers. Hosted by the City of Tallahassee, Leon County Government in partnership with the Village Square and leadership, oh, excuse me, did I say the City of Tallahassee? Leon County Government in partnership with the Village Square and Leadership Tallahassee, a program of the Greater Tallahassee Chamber of Commerce and supported by a grant from the Knight Foundation through the Community Foundation of North Florida. To tell you more about this event called The Longest Table, it is my pleasure to introduce Mayor Andrew Gillum, followed by FSU student Tori Patton. Right, thank you, Liz. Thank you very much, uh, Liz. And uh, thank you all for taking time and joining us today. So thankful to have so many of our partners uh, who are here. I'm gonna try and acknowledge a few of them. Obviously, uh, there's Liz Joyner, uh, and frankly, enough cannot be said about the critical role that uh, the Village Square has played in breaking down barriers and building pathways to more dialogue in our community across superficial barriers, racial lines, religious affiliations, um, uh, political extremes, you name it. Um, they stand in the gap for our community, and I think by virtue of that make the city of Tallahassee and Leon County a better place. Uh, I obviously want to thank uh, our host. Um, we are thankful to St. John's Episcopal Church. Um, similar to the Village Square, this is a congregation, a uh, faith community that is also committed to uh, building bridges and bringing people together. And you can experience that in their lunch uh, throughout the week, but you could also experience that through the range of programs that they do um, all, all, all throughout the year. Um, I want to thank Barbara Boone, um, uh, I believe in her absence. Uh, we thank her for her great work on behalf of Leadership Tallahassee. Uh, Joy Watkins, who is here from the Community Foundation of North Florida. Um, Senior Warden Paul Sawyer uh, from St. John's Episcopal Church. And a very special shout out to WFSU, who has been an amazing partner with this initiative. Um, and again this year, are going to be hosting several sites. Um, we began this effort, as Liz told you, with about 400 folks on the street not too far from here, where we ended up using our rain date, and we thought we'd have less, and we actually had more people participate in that event on the rain date than the original scheduled date, um, largely because I think people truly are craving community. They don't like, and we don't like, uh, being separated by, again, superficial things that really don't tell us who we are. It frankly reaches for the worst in humanity. And so events like this allow us to step out of that and to put the emphasis back on being neighbors, back on being friends, back on being a uh, uh, community. Uh, I also want to um, uh, mention that this effort has now made its way into other communities. Uh, Tallahassee Leon County is a leader uh, in this effort. Uh, we've had numerous outreaches from cities and states uh, all around the country asking, hey, how do we do this? We want to also mimic this idea. Uh, we've seen it grow into high school cafeterias in Lake Placid, Florida, college campuses at uh, Florida State, which you'll hear a little bit more about, and Florida A&M universities, uh, and cities like Dayton, Ohio, um, uh, who have all done their own iterations of the longest table built off of the work that we've done here in the city of Tallahassee. Um, not only that, uh, we're pleased to announce partnership with Dr. Ryan Kopinski, a uh, PhD student at Florida State University who has developed, um, I don't know if we want to call it an algorithm, but certainly a system uh, where uh, based off of where people live, their age groups, maybe their faith affiliation, you name it, uh, they're able to place individuals in homes uh, all around our community. We were doing it last year by hand, uh, uh, trying to figure out how we achieve the greatest sense of diversity. Um, I call that partnership out because it also tells you uh, what you can do in a community with higher education institutions when students are invested 
uh, in this community, and they want to see this community do well. And so I'm thankful to uh, Dr. Pes uh, well, soon to be Dr. But Ryan Kopinski for uh, for his work there. Um, I'm also thankful to our partners at Leon County uh, for their work with us. And uh, with that all said, registration is open. Uh, we want to invite individuals to go online, uh, visit us at www.longesttable.com. Uh, and indicate whether or not you want to attend uh, one of these uh, gatherings or if you yourself want to host. Uh, I'm looking forward to, uh, uh, to joining in this year's activities. I don't know if anybody's going to want to come into my house because we'll have a screaming baby, uh, a newborn by then. Uh, but we're going to lean into it again this year because I think it's so important and so helpful for building uh, the kind of community that we all want and that we all want to celebrate. Um, I want to thank you all again for coming out today, and it is now my pleasure uh, to bring to the podium uh, Ms. Tori Patton, who is an FSU student uh, and worked on the building and uh, developing of the longest table at Florida State University with President Thrasher. Tori? Good afternoon. My name is Tori Patton, and I am a part of the executive team of the Student Diversity and Inclusion Council. The SDIC is a council under the Office of the President at Florida State University that has convened students from different campus communities to launch the Power of We, the first student-curated university-wide campaign at FSU. Power of We's vision is to provide a platform for our campus community to cultivate this sorely needed ability to engage across our differences, to bridge partisan divides, and to collaborate with those we, agree, we disagree with. Power of We reimagines, does not reimagine diversity as a tool, not a token, and believes in creating shared spaces for people spanning the spectrum of identities, life experiences, and ideologies. The Longest Table is one of those spaces. We are so thrilled that the city of Tallahassee, Leon County, and the Village Square has partnered with us to recreate this program not once, but twice at FSU. To us, The Longest Table is an opportunity to explore a simple yet powerful idea that we can defy this polarization pervading our society by committing to having genuine conversation. From a conversation can emerge collaboration, and collaboration can seed transformation. This event offers the rare chance to sit across from someone who is different than you, with no agenda and no script, just a desire to connect and converse. At a time when the narratives we hear are us versus them, we have the power to write a different story. At a time when fear and suspicion is sowing discord and division, we have the power to pave a different path. We have the choice to believe in a shared future. On behalf of the Student Diversity and Inclusion Council and Power of We, we want to thank the City of Tallahassee again for their continued partnership and support. And we are so looking forward to the in-home edition on June 11th. Thank you. Oh, Tor, I was like, who are you introducing? I guess it's me, my bad. Uh, <laughs> I also uh, want to acknowledge the Council on Neighborhood Associations. Um, uh, Christique is here. Uh, you're always having so many capacities, uh, but I believe in that capacity today. Um, the, the Council on Neighborhoods does a tremendous job to extend the reach uh, of neighborly deeds and neighborly goods, uh, and we're very, very pleased and honored to have them uh, with us as a partner. So I'll close out today's uh, program by once again reiterating to the public that they uh, can now register to host an event or to participate in an event. And it's extremely simple. All you got to do is go to www.longesttable.com, uh, and by visiting that site, it'll allow you to indicate whether you want to be a host yourself uh, or whether you want to participate in one of those functions. Um, um, we are encouraging folks uh, through this initiative uh, to instead of being judging about what's different, to choose to be more curious. Uh, and we believe if you choose curiosity uh, that you open the pathway for more friendships uh, in this community and more of a sense of community here in the city of Tallahassee and Leon County. So with that, we'll conclude and get y'all out of the hot sun. Uh, best wishes to everybody and uh, we'll see you at the longest table.